Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing with you some items that I've recently picked up. So it's kind of like a haul, but most of the stuff I've already used. So I'm basically doing mini reviews on pretty much everything here. There's a couple of things I haven't used and I'll let you know um, those, but these are things that I kind of thought didn't really warrant their own review. Um, so I kind of wanted to just do a video of mini reviews. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to go ahead and just jump into the products. So I picked up things um, from a Sephora coupon that I had and from an Ulta coupon I had and then a couple of other places and then I actually have a couple of uh, things that were sent to me for review that I'm going to share with you too. However, uh, because I'm trying to use this stuff, all my products are mixed up. So I don't even know like what stuff I got from Sephora and what stuff I got from Ulta. So sorry about that. but. Um, I'll, the stuff that I do remember, I'll let you know, but, you know, I, it's not going to be in order of store. It's just going to be kind of in order of what the item type is because uh, that's the way I kind of had it organized so I can try all these products out. So I'm going to start out with the stuff that I purchased first um, and then at the end I'll do all the um, stuff that I got sent uh, for review. So uh, first up is stuff for the lips and I have quite a few products, which is kind of surprising because I had kind of been out of the lip uh the lip thing lately because i just have too many lip products but something hit me this these last couple months that made me want to try some stuff out so got quite a lot so the first one is what i'm wearing today and this is one of the lip whips by beauty bakery and the shade is called louvre palace i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right but as always i'll list the product down below and like i said i'm wearing it today it's kind of just like a peachy nude I do um, have it mixed with the lip liner, so I'll swatch it for you. And I kind of don't even want to swatch it because these are so hard to get off. But I really like the color. Um, however, the formula is not my favorite. It is long lasting and I like that about it. But it is very drying and I like I like um, liquid lipstick, so I'm used to them being drying. But I feel like this one is a little bit more drying than some others. And then sometimes, like if I, I notice that if I wear this for like... It'll last like eight hours or probably more, but I, I noticed that as it starts getting near the end, it gets crumbly, uh, which I do not like. So at that point, I usually will top it with the gloss and that'll usually disguise that, but it's not my favorite formula, but it's not bad either. The next product I have is another liquid lipstick, and this is by uh, Jo Michelle Professional Makeup, and she does YouTube videos. She's a makeup artist here in Florida. And uh, so I just wanted to support her and try out a couple of her products. So like I said, I picked up one of her liquid lipsticks and this is in the shade Irie. And I, this is actually one of the products I have not tried, but I thought it was really pretty, like a really pretty red. So it looks awesome on her. So hopefully it'll look good on me. We're about the same skin tone and I hope I like the formula. Also ended up picking up a lip liner from MAC and this is Chestnut and I know I'm probably the last person to get this, but this is what it looks like. It's just a really dark brown. Um, I like it. However, it, I, I didn't know it would be this dark. I ordered it online, so I'm thinking I'm going to get another lip liner soon. Um, that's not as dark as this, but I can definitely make this work. I'm actually wearing it today with the um, liquid lipstick that I showed you earlier. I picked up two... Uh, lipsticks from i purchased them from ulta but they're by dose of colors and these are their new lipsticks that they came out with they are the what are they called lip it up satin lipsticks and so the first shade here is toast which looks like that and i really really like this color guys but i do not like you see how this is this is already twisted down as far as it can go this is just how it is um so i feel like it may be easy to break i haven't broken it. i've been using it so maybe not but i do really like the color and the formula so uh that's it right there i don't know if you're going to be able to see it because it's really close to my skin tone but i'll try to insert some close-ups the other shade i picked up is called mocha and it's again one of those same lip lipsticks so that's it there and I haven't actually worn this color but it's the same formula and I know I really like the formula and I like the color too so I'm excited to wear that one too also by Delta colors is a lip gloss and this is in the shade undressed and this is actually a lot lighter than I expected 
However, it works um, as a topper. So I wouldn't wear this gloss by itself. I've worn it with I've worn it with the chestnut liner and I liked it like that and I've also worn it on top of toast just like in the center and I really like that too. Um, they are pretty opaque so what I do is when I wear it on top of a lipstick I just kind of dot it in the middle and that gives me just a little bit of variation in the lip. I really like it on top of toast so I'm glad I picked this up but it's not a color I personally will wear alone. It's too opaque and too light for my skin tone. I guess I should have showed this earlier, but I picked up a gloss by Jo Michelle Pro Makeup as well. And this is in the shade One Love. And I do like the gloss. It's not really anything that special, but the color is pretty and it's comfortable. It's not really that sticky, so it's a good gloss. And then the last lip product I have is this Urban Decay lipstick. It's one of the new lipsticks that came out with the Heat Collection. And it's in the shade Fuel. And this is actually one I have not tried either. So I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. I almost wore this one today, but I didn't. That's it there. So speaking of Urban Decay, I also picked up the Naked Heat eyeshadow palette. And I know y'all have seen this all over YouTube. So I'll go ahead and just open it for you. But I like, I'm actually a person who really likes the Naked pa palette. So these colors look right up my alley. Again, this is one I have not tried yet, which is horrible, but um, I don't wear eyeshadow every day because to be honest, I'm pretty much around the house most days. So the other eyeshadow palette that I picked up is the new Sephora Pro Warm Palette. What is it called? Yeah, it's the Warm Palette, uh, which comes in this really sturdy packaging. And I have been using this. I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today. Let me show you what it looks like. I think the colors are really pretty, and I do like the formula. Um, however, some of the shades are a little bit disappointing. They're just not as pigmented as I would like. However, they're definitely workable, and I think for the amount of shades that you get, if you like these colors, it's worth it. So, I mean, obviously, if you're not into warm shadows, don't waste your time on this. Um, it's definitely not a palette that you have to have because I'm sure you can find these shades in other palettes. But I like having them all together and I'm glad I picked it up. And I think I can do a lot of looks with it. Like today I'm doing an all matte look. Uh, let me show you what I'm wearing. I'll just point out the colors real quick. So on my lid, I'm wearing this yellow shade here. I think it's called Ochre. And then on in my crease, I'm wearing this shade. And then also this shade. And this is in my outer V as well. So, yeah. I know I've seen some reviews that say that um, they don't like this palette because they don't feel like they can do many looks with it. But if you like matte shadows, then check it out because it's like basically all mattes with just a few shimmer shades in there. Um, so I can do different matte looks with it. And yeah, they are all similar because they're all going to be warm looks. But that's pretty much what I wear every day. So I'm, I'm really happy with this. Okay, so hopefully everything still looks the same. I actually had to stop the video because my lawn uh, people are here and they were literally like pruning a tree or doing something to a tree right in front of my window like and it was I was gonna continue but there was like three of them and I felt really awkward <laughs> so I had to stop the video anyway let's get back to the haul <laughs> all right so next up I have some face products that I picked up and the first one is Estee Lauder Heat Wave and I'm actually wearing it today um I'm sure you guys have seen this because it's been out for a while and for a long time, I resisted getting this just because it was too hyped up and I just wasn't interested. Um, but when I made the order to get that Estee Lauder foundation, I saw they had this in stock. So I decided to go ahead and pick it up at that point. Plus, I had a coupon. So I have to say, I'm not super impressed. Like, I like it, but it has glitter. And I think it's just an overlay just from what I think I remember people saying about it. Um, but I don't I don't like the glitter but this, I'm wearing it today I like the base color but I don't like the glitter so this one is kind of to be continued but at this point I'm kind of like mm, I don't know that it was worth all the hype 
I'm pretty sure it wasn't worth all the hype, so. But still pretty, but. Next up is another highlighter, and this is also by Jo Michelle Pro Makeup. And this is her new shade, Negril. This is what it looks like. And I have worn this before. I think it's really pretty if you have a dark skin tone. Sat there, and um, it's pretty smooth and all. And it just looks really nice on the skin. So I really like this one if you have a skin tone maybe a little bit lighter than mine up to a deep dark skin tone i think it'll look great on you i picked up one of the bronzers from becca this is one of their new sunlit bronzers and i picked it up in the shade Impanima sun which is the second to the darkest shade it looks like this and i'm actually wearing it today i really like this it when you swatch it i'll try to swatch it but it bronzers hardly ever really show well on camera but um when you swatch it it kind of looks like it could be um, too light for me, but it's definitely not. It shows up really well um, when you put it on with a brush. When you look at it in a pan, it also looks a bit shimmery, but I find when I apply it to my face, it doesn't look shimmery at all. It just kind of looks like it gives me a bit of a glow. So I like it. Um, they have another shade called Maui Sun, I believe. It's darker than this and it's more red tone. I kind of want to pick that up too because I think that'll be a great um, blush bronzer. If you have that one, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. I'm actually on a no buy, so I won't be picking up anytime soon. So, but still let me know so I can add it to my list of products that I want. <laughs> And then the last face product that I picked up is by Beauty Bakery, and isn't this super cute? So this is their Flower, that's the name of the product, it's a uh, setting powder, and it comes in four shades, I believe. I just picked up in a translucent shade, looks like that, and I'm not going to open it because this powder will get everywhere. I haven't really used this yet, so I'm probably going to do a review of this on my blog, we'll see, but... Uh, I'll probably do a review of it on my blog, but I'm really interested to try it out. And I was out of my translucent powder, so I needed a new one. Or almost out of it. I have like just a tiny bit left. But uh, I've been hearing some good things about it. I think I heard Jackie Irina talk about it. So I'm thinking I'm going to like that. And if y'all have never heard of Beauty Bakery, they are... Um, like, they're not a new company. I don't know how long they've been around. It just seems that now they're getting more popularity. And it is a black-owned business. So I always like to support my people if I can. And if I can get a great makeup product out of it, out of it then that's great. So, so that's it for the stuff that I purchased. Um, I do have a couple things that were sent to me for review that I'm going to quickly go over. Um, the first three products are from Octoly. And first is this nail polish. It's by OPI. It's called Coconuts Over OPI. And I really like this. I was actually wearing this. I don't know if it was in my last video. I think I was wearing it in my favorites video. But I'll try to insert a clip or something so you can see it. But I love this color. This is just, it's a neutral, but it's a slight bit different. It's kind of like a gray tone neutral. Uh, and I think it just looks really nice and polished on my nails without being, you know, clear. Not wearing it today, of course, but um, really pretty color. If you all have never heard of Octoly, it is a company that if you have, like, I think, a YouTube or a blog, you can get in contact with them and they basically hook you up to brands. You don't have to be a big blogger, uh, but basically you can shop from their free store and then... Um, give your honest unbiased review so they don't tell you i have to say something good about it um about the product it's just that i will mention the product so i really like that because i don't like to tell people i'm going to give them good review and i don't know if i'm going to like the product that's not that's not cool to me so i like octoly because you pick the products you want um and then you if you like it you tell people you like it if you don't like it then hey you don't like it Anyway, <laughs> the other product I got from them is by Kevin Aquan, and it comes in this really sleek package. And this is one of their new highlighters. It's called the Neo Highlighter. And it actually is a combination of their three highlighter shades that they carry. And so I don't know if you can tell, but it's an ombre from lightest to darkest. And I have to say, this product is, I don't know, it's pretty, but it's not... To me, it's not worth the money. <laughs> I, I don't. I forget how much this retails for, but I'll put it on the screen. But it is expensive. 
Um, and like I said, it's pretty. And maybe if you have a lighter skin tone, it'll be better for you. Actually, it kind of looks ashy there. But on, on my cheeks, it doesn't look ashy, you know, when you apply it with the brush and all. But it's just kind of a really subtle highlighter. So it's nice for every day. And you do have three different shades. So you can kind of mix it how you want to. So I do like that. And I do like the product. Don't get me wrong. I just think that I'm glad I didn't pay for this because I don't I don't think it's worth that much. But um, it just doesn't give me that wow like what I would expect. So I like it and I'm glad I got to try it. But would I necessarily recommend it? Mm, not really unless you're getting it on sale or something. Also from Octoly, I got this liquid lipstick by Black Up, and this is in the shade LM01. Yeah, so it doesn't have a name, but it's this one, and I like this formula. I was kind of surprised. I thought I wouldn't like it, but it lasts all day, like most liquid lipsticks these days. <laughs> it's not super drying, and I think the shade looks nice on me. I've worn this with a gloss on top of it, and it still lasts it. Um, and I've also worn it with a lip liner, and that didn't affect the formula or anything either. So I, I think this was a good pickup. Um, again, I don't know necessarily know that you need to go get it, but it's definitely a great product. Um, it's just that there's so many liquid lipsticks at this point, you might already have something similar, but I do like it. So if you see it and you don't have a shade, uh, liquid lipstick in this shade, then definitely pick it up. It's a very good formula. So the next items I have are from a small business and it, it, the company name is Simply Pure and Authentic and their owner reached out to me. She makes these products herself. Um, she came up with the formula herself, and so she asked me if I was interested in trying them, so I said, sure. And it's actually, she sent me an oil and a body butter. So this is the body butter, and it's called the Hand and Body Cream. I picked it up in the shade Birthday Cake. The other one that she sent me is the Conditioning Hair Oil, which looks like this. And I have them in this plastic bag just because the oil kind of spilled and so the products are a little bit greasy, so, but I have been using it. And I really like the body cream for night. Um, it's a bit too much for the daytime because it is made from natural oils. And so it's a bit oily for me for the daytime. However, I love it at night. I love to put it on my feet and then put my socks on. <laughs> and I just feel like it keeps my feet really moisturized. And the oil, I have not used on my own hair, but I have used on my son's and it, it works really well for him it um gives him shine and i feel like it adds moisture but it also smells really really good um this one only comes in one scent the oil and i forget what the name of the scent is let's see if it's on here i don't know but it only comes in one scent but it smells really good it's like a clean fresh smell but still kind of sweet. It, it smells really, really good. It doesn't smell too girly, so you can use it on a male or a female. Like I said, I use it on my son, and I love it. Um, so, yeah, definitely check her out if you're interested. I'll list her Etsy shop down below if you're interested in trying out these products. Okay, and then the last items I have are actually from Influencer, and they give you free products for review if you fit a mat if you're a match to what they're looking for so basically you fill out a survey and if they think that this product may work for you then they'll send it out to you again they don't require that you give a good review i'm not into that so um so the three products that i received are from pantene and one is the hydrating buttercream the moisture boost conditioner and the moisture boost shampoo and i've tried all three of these products the ones that I like the most are the shampoo. I think it smells really good. It kept my hair, it made my hair feel really clean without feeling stripped. Now it does have sulfates in it, I believe. Yeah, it does have sulfates in it. So it's not something I would use on a regular basis, but I like to have products like this that I know I can pick up anywhere. <laughs> because if I'm out of town and I need to, have something I can go to if I leave my hair products at home. I like to be able to have stuff like this that can kind of be a backup product. So I really like this shampoo. Again, I wouldn't use it each time I wash my hair because I don't always use sulfates, but sometimes I do wash with a sulfate shampoo. Um, the other products, 
were the moisture boost conditioner which I really like again it made my hair feel really good when I was wash when I was conditioning my hair in the shower had lots of slip made it easy to detangle but it does have silicones in it so um, if you don't use cones these ain't gonna work for you and generally I don't use cones but I tried it out <laughs> I really like it it's just that I don't like to use silicones because then you have to wash them out with the sulfate shampoo but if you're using this all together then there's no problem it's a good conditioner it made my hair feel really soft so that's what's important right and then the last item was the hydrating buttercream and I do like this I used it for a twist out and then I also used it to re-moisturize my hair but again, it does have silicones in it, um, but I liked it. It felt really moisturizing and gave me kind of like a fluffy twist out, not super defined. But th again, this would be a great thing to pick up if I was out of town and I didn't have my hair products with me because it's not too expensive. Um, it gave me a nice style. Everything smelled good. My hair felt good. It looked good. Uh, it's just that it's not something I want to use on in a, on a weekly basis because of the ingredients in it. But definitely, if you don't care about the ingredients, try these out because I think they are pretty darn good and not too expensive. Um, and you can find them in any drugstore. Y'all know Pantene is sold everywhere. So that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you've tried any of the products that i mentioned um leave it in the comments below let me know if you agree or if uh, or if you had different results with the products that i mentioned so hope you guys enjoyed i will see you in the next video bye